Hello, everybody. Now, this video will teach you how to make best use of the ROM read and write feature in the new software of the DFL Seagate Formal Repair Tool. Now, we can check the software current version is the DFL ST 3.00. Now, I have connected one uh, detected Seagate hard drive. Power on the hard drive, we enter the software program. Now, we can try to click Obtain the details. So, from here, we can find out the SN number. So, this is three numbers SN, the model number and both of them are properly detected so when the hard drive is detected let's check how the ROM is saved click OK and this program will detect the family name automatically and all the ID information will be displayed properly here. Now let's check the read ROM. So this is ROM backup. This is one very basic but important feature. Now from here we can find out the ROM will be saved with the SN number. SN number. Here is the SN number. This one is important because we may save or backup many ROM resources. So if this name is the same, then users may override the existing backup ROM. So the program will detect the current collected hard drives as n and then save it here now we can check we can easily back up this rom and this is rom name now we can go to check the saved rom open the working directory now we can check here so this is the ROM we have just saved now so this is the ROM backup for detected hard drive now for undetected drive let's check what happened I am I have removed the previous detected hard drive. Now let's try to collect one undetected hard drive. For undetected hard drive, now I have power down and the head doesn't move at all and this drive has severely head issue it, it cannot get ready so for this kind of drive there are two options we can go ahead to back up the ROM the first option we can try to click boot mode and see if we can enter the boot mode successfully but for this drive because it is damaged so it cannot get its model and SN so we cannot get its SN number here but we can try to click 
we can check the ID information from the label. So this is one barracuda, uh, 7200.12. Now for this drive, it's really uh, 3F, this one. We select the family. The family name is very important. Sometimes if the family name is not correct, the ROM read may be incomplete. So we need to select the family name correctly. And here, after that, we can back up the ROM. So when the drive is busy, we need to back up the ROM by COM mode without short and use this one to back up the ROM. But at this time we can find out that the ROM file here, it doesn't have a name. Anyway, it doesn't affect the ROM contents, but it's the best we can give this ROM a name. So we can try to check. So we can see here, this is a backup ROM, but it doesn't have a name. So before we back up the ROM, here, it doesn't have a name. If we try to input a name here, we cannot input the name, but we can try to edit the ROM by selecting the parts. For example, this is one Barracuda uh, Seagate 7200.12, so it's 3F. And we can also check the information of the SN 47SD. 47SD. For example, this is SN number. That now this information is from the label. Now we can click save. And now we can try to read it again. So at this time, we can see the backup ROM will have a new name. If users doesn't give it a new name, then it is a backup like this one. It doesn't have a name. But if the drive is detected, then the ROM will be saved with the SN name. And sometimes, when the drive is not detected, and even when the drive is busy, we can here, we can click boot mode, and then the model number and the SN number, they will be detected as well. And at this time, the ROM will be saved with the SN name too. So, this is one new feature of the new DFL Sigit firmware repair program. It is very helpful. So just one thing to remind all Dolphin users. That is, when users try to back up something, when it doesn't have a lane, then it's better, it's the best. Users gave the backup file a unique lane. Thank you for watching.